Here's my DIY engine lift using the WLR hitch and three pulleys. Three pulleys theoretically gives me a four to one ratio. You could do it with two pulleys by tying off here, having a pulley down here, and then having a pulley up here. And then again, having the WLR hitch here. So to get started, when we pull up, the hitch is gonna tend itself. Uh, this pulley is going to tend the hitch, so it'll look like this. Use it up to start. And this, since this is an overhead application, wherever you're pulling from, whatever your anchor is up top, needs, needs to be extremely strong, fully capable of holding the weight. This is a pretty small engine, 2.5, EJ25, alright, to lower it, we're just going to tend our hitch, we'll hold our Slack in one hand, the hitch in the other. Now you can work on it as you need. And I guess the main thing is, is when you're moving this slide it back and forth like I got it set up here, you would want to make sure you don't hit your hitch as you're sliding it because if you were to hit this, it could introduce slap. And that's all there is to it. You can have it in and out in a few minutes. And of course, like I said, this is a pretty small engine. Overhead application, whatever your anchor is, has to be very strong. Um, what I did is I used a two by eight with, uh, and sanded it down, sanded it pretty good. Didn't do no great job, but got it sanded down to about 220 grit. And then I have uh, two pieces of eight millimeter canyon looks, and I specifically use that because it has a very tight sheath, so it's not likely to get caught up in the splinters. I also use the uh, knots, the triple fisherman's knots on the very top, and that helps it uh, slide a little bit easier. And this rope is 8.8 .8 millimeter Argon by Blue, Bar, Blue Water Ropes. It is a dynamic rope, so it's not really the best for this application, but I've got a six millimeter rad uh, eye to eye as the WLR hitch. It uh, works pretty good, grips really well, so that's it.